Yo, what's up? I hope y'all are having a great and lovely day. Today is a special video. I was out here cruising, and I figured some people would like to know what's better: a pintail, longboard, a drop deck, top mount longboard, versus a drop through drop deck basically double drop longboard yes that's right so I figured today while I'm out here getting my cruise on anyway go ahead and do a comparison review let's find out which is the best pintail drop deck or double drop today we shall put them to the test and I'll let you know which one is good for what and you can decide what you like the best. Stay tuned. What? Oh, I almost forgot. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Kingdom Corn. Yes, always going to be some great stuff on there. I look forward to seeing you. Hit me up, hit the subscribe button, and let's get to the video. So all of these today are land yachts. We have a land top pinner, land yacht switch, and a land yacht switch blade. This is just my homie right here. What I'll do, I'll bring you along for a ride on each of them. We'll get our crews on, have some fun, and when we get back, we're just gonna go over all three of them and discover which one kicks butt. Let's ride. Now, generally, a pintail should be more carvy. This one is extra large. I have bear trucks, 75 millimeter wheels, soft wheels, and I have this lanyard switch. What up, Bruce? This is a drop deck, a drop deck. That meaning it is top mounted, no drop through, such as this one. The trucks go through, making it lower to the ground. This is top mounted, but the deck is a drop deck. So you're gonna sit inside almost like a little cab. It locks your feet in better, so you can have a more stable feeling ride. And lastly, this is the Lanyard Switch Blade. 40 inch. It is a double drop deck. It's a drop through board with a drop on the deck. Both. I'm running some 80 millimeter wheels. A double drop deck should be low to the ground. Keeps you nice and stable. Now with this being a drop, that already locks you in. With a double drop twice, you will be even more stable, more stabilized. You'll you'll feel more in control. Probably like good for a beginner since you'll feel so stable on there. So which one wants to go first, Bruce? Slimer? Mm -mm. I'll do it. Oh, you always a man, Bruce. We out. Let's go. That was nice, Bruce. I like that. Be like water. I don't know what that means. I know it's hot. Now next. Not me. It'll be fun. 
Come on. Push on up. Yeah, that was cool. Penta serves up. Y'all rock. Let's do it. Yes, y'all. Woo. That was nice. Y'all feel that breeze? <laughs> what about me? Oh, wow. Mr. Stay Puff, we can't forget about you, for sure. Now, this, this is a land yacht battle axe. It is a regular drop through. So, let's take it out. Give it a ride. Stay! I got it. <laughs> oh, smooth. Oh, Mr. Stay Puff, that was sweet. No pun intended. Yes. Woo. You all did great, y'all. Y'all are awesome. Just like my kingdomers out there. Yeah. So in summation, <laughs> here's my final reviews on these. I'll start with the switch blade. Yeah. Pushing with it is definitely the best out of the four. Very clean and, and easy to push. I actually learned how to push on this one, Land Yacht Switchblade, because it was just so easy. And there's plenty of room on the deck, so you have more room for error. If you feel like you're a beginner, you want something real easy, something that you feel stable, something that you can learn to push on, uh, learn slides with, the Switchblade is the one for you. If you want more of a smooth ride, not so worry so much about being a beginner, you just want to get from point A to point B in the most fancy, flashiest way possible, I will go with the Land Yacht Switch. This one felt real car-like. Felt like a car, like I was in a car. Whenever I would turn and carve, it just went so smoothly. I have Paris D3 trucks on there, which could possibly be 
part of the reason it was so smooth. But like I said, it cruises like a car. If you want to get from point A to point B without feeling so skateboardish and more like you just going for a ride, that's the switch for me. And last, as for the pintail, you just want that surfy feeling, like you're out on the beach trying to catch the waves, except you're on a uh, hard, crunchy ground. The pintail would be for you. Really fun, carvy, and the bamboo drop through. It's low to the ground, so it also keeps you stable. Doesn't feel so much like you're riding a car. It has a skateboard feel, but it also just feels really smooth. I hear ya. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you had a good time here today and got the information that you needed. I had a lot of fun. Now, go out there, get you some skateboards, surf the waves, the car, whatever you want to do, and make sure Tell him Kingdom Corn sent you, and that's where it's at. Peace.